favorite at one to nine, the three-time Breeders' Crown champion, me, Maggie, who won back-to-back -back crowns, getting some support at 13 to one, and Ebonita Hanover at 18 to one. Now we pick it up near the half mile, Paul. Peace Corps in perfect striking position on the outside. Here's track announcer Frank Salee. On the lead, still by three parts of a length, is Roe Julie. Peace Corps is methodically closing in on the outside. Second, less than three eighths of a mile to go. Lady Orbitex in third. Keystone Santa Fe is getting its second over on the outside. Fourth, Me Maggie to the outside. Five, Warwick Kira, sixth at the rail, then Ebony to Hanover and Lumax Review. Roe Julie is still holding. Holding off Peace Corps by a head at three quarters in 128 and three. The mares were 29 and two in the backstretch. Starting a move from far back is Ebony to Hanover. She's four wide. Roe Julie is the leader at the top of the stretch, and Peace Corps on the outside making a bid for an unprecedented fourth Breeders' Crown title now takes over. Going down in history as one of the greatest of the 20th century, an unprecedented 60th lifetime win. Peace Score wins the Breeders' Crown in 158 flat. Coming on to be second was Ebonita Hanover, Lady Orbitex third. Another brilliant performance by the richest harness horse of all time. Peace Corps returning $2.30, 220 and 210. Ebonita Hanover was second, $4 and 210. Lady Orbitex, $2.10 to show the time of the mile, 158 flat. And she shows her dominance over the world trotting mares, sitting outside of Roe Julie with impunity, coming on to win Handley. An interesting commentary on what's happening with the older trotting mares is the fact that six of the eight in the field are owned in Europe. The two U.S. owned horses, Me Maggie and Ebonita Hanover, were racing in Europe and returned for this race. 